Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. And today is going to be an encouragement to you. Mm -hmm. That's my hope. That's my prayer. Well, let's watch on and tell me what you think. All right. About eight years ago, we got started in homesteading. Um, and before that, no. No, 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 no. No knowledge at all. No. It was so bad that I decided I wanted to plant a garden. And I planted what I thought were cu cucumber, no, tomato seeds. And she planted cucumbers. I planted, well, what came in the package were cucumber seeds. Right. But we had no idea. No. We were as green as green as green gets. Mm -hmm. And um, the encouragement today, guys, is we're going to tell you a little bit of our story. But the whole point is that if we can do it, you, you can, can too. And I'm not, I'm not kidding. Yeah. I don't care if you're younger or you're old, if you've got lots of money, you don't have money, you don't have you know, the skill set, or you think, oh, geez, I can't do this because this is... When we tell you little bits and pieces of our story, trust me when I say that if we can get this done, then you can too. I mean, think about it. In eight years' time, we've gone from a family that was just completely technology. You know, I was in recording in studios and video production, and, and now we're in Wisconsin on a farm with cows and Chickens. we've had goats and, you know, we Eggs. can our own food and we, so here's the scoop. I want to rewind just a little bit because honestly, just keep in your mind as we're talking, think, well, if they can do it, I can, right? Yes. Now, before we get going too far, I want to tell you something, um, because you may be going, well, geez, Brad, you, you, you like to have fun with when you make mistakes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Prepster Bob's been around there and he's been showing you a lot of stuff. Um, I want you to know that sometimes I might just ham it up a little bit um, for the camera so that it looks yeah. more fun and entertaining for right. you. Right. We know a little more than we lead on. Right, right. You know, and, and we have learned so much watching YouTube videos, you know, mm -hmm. there are so many folks out there that, you know, have a bit more knowledge on a few things than we did when we started, when we started out. And we've got a library of here, up here of different, you know, farming Our books, books and, yeah. um, uh, different gardening books. And we have just scoured all of those in learning how and when to plant properly. And you've got to check your, you know, the, the local, frost dates and all yeah. that nonsense, you know. Yeah. But. Well, I think it was honestly <laughs> YouTube University where mm -hmm. we started. Yeah, it was. It was because, you know, I know how to record vocals and make them sound huge like, you know, any big band. I know how to tune things like your voice. I know how to mix in guitars and play and stuff like that. But then when it came to growing a tomato, that was more challenging than I had done. Yeah. At all. And yeah. you guys, some of you have probably fallen out of your chair going, who can't grow a tomato? We couldn't. You remember, Okay, you know, you remember our first, our very first tomato garden? It was those upside down hanging yeah, buckets. Yeah, in Florida. Yeah, we got some of those hanging buckets. No, we made them. I made them out of... That's right. Yep. You made them out of bucket, out of regular, like, icing buckets. No, and I'll tell you why, because I remember why we failed. <laughs> oh, no, they, they were, were like clear, clear, blue, clear. Yeah, that's right. They were a blue, clear bucket, and that's why that's we failed. That's why we couldn't grow the tomato. We didn't realize those much. those roots need to be in the dark. It was too much that's, light. <laughs> that's how green we were. Mm -hmm. yeah. No idea. Yeah. What are our tomatoes growing? Yeah. We grew some, did we grow corn? I think we grew corn. It never got bigger than that. No, it, it didn't do very well. You know, and... I can't remember what we actually yielded out of that garden. <laughs> lettuce. Yeah, that's true. It that's was in true. Florida. Yeah. We, we grew lettuce. Yeah. Um, and that was, you know, that was a small success for us. Mm -hmm. We're like, all right, okay. We're pretty big in our britches. I just, got, I just yeah. made grass. <laughs> no, lettuce. I made grass, yeah. Go but then... Grass. You know, what was next? It was um, several years of being bad at gardening, like two or three, right? No, not too much. I mean, we didn't do a garden the first year in Cincinnati. 
Uh, yeah. We did one the next year we were there because you got the bug for bees. bees. And I got the bug for chickens. Uh -huh. And so we took half of the backyard and it was made half it, is a garden. Literally, half of the backyard was a garden. And then the other half was chickens. Chickens. <laughs> But that was the only, that was the fenced in area. Then we had, you know, areas on either side where the kids could play. So it wasn't, we weren't taking up the entire yard. But, right, right. You know, and it was what, how big was it? Like 50 by 50? Maybe, Easy. maybe 80-ish. Yeah, and then, and then the year after that, we were like, well, forget this, there's not enough room. Yeah. So we went and on the other side of the fence and took up another 40 feet easy. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, we did garlic and, and then we invited then and... we invited some of the friends at church to come over and play in a row. Yeah. Yeah, we, that's right. I forgot about that. But that just here's one of those things. If they can do it, I can too. Mm -hmm. And here's the scoop. Like, for example, um, we had no idea what it meant to, to take care of your chickens and keep them safe from predators. Mm -hmm. We had lost a chicken pretty quickly. Well, we lost two to a fox. To a fox, and mm -hmm. we caught him. I caught him red beaked, clawed, teeth. Yeah, no, he got the first one, and then he actually literally had the second one in his mouth, remember? Mm -hmm. I came out there and I was like, ah! I went Scared into beast off. mode. No, I took the garden. You oh, had a yeah, log. that's right, that's right, that's right. She had a big gardening separating log. log. Yeah. And I was like, Rah! and chucked it at it. And well, it, I got it, but he got away. There was another one that got tangled in some vines. And yeah. The chicken had strangled himself. We had no idea. Because a predator had come in, and it's running around, and it had strangled himself. Yeah. Personally. But we didn't, we had no idea. And, and now... We've got twenty four birds, and and this mm -hmm. we've we've processed our own chickens. Um, up until this year, we've been having all of our meat that we consume when it comes to chicken. Mm -hmm. We've done it. Right, right. This year we got summer got away from us, and we didn't have enough time. Didn't have enough time. Um, but you don't learn those things in a day, guys. Mm -hmm. It's not like you sit down and go, "I will now master homesteading." No, it doesn't work like that. It is a long process. And one thing you'll find out about farmers that we found out, and it rings true, is it does not matter who you're talking to, they have the better way to do whatever it is, fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, I'm not being insulting. Not it's, at all. It's actually a very, it's a, it's a, I think it's great because they're always trying to do it better, always trying to do it cheaper, trying to get more yield. And so... While that guy may be good at doing his thing, this one's really better. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the same way with with homesteading. That sure, there's there's ways you got to start and ways you got to learn to do these skills. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna figure out a way that's better for you. You do have to figure out a way that is better for you and your family. Um, because not every way that every homesteading person has done it. Works for you. Right. Your soil may be a different, mm -hmm. you know, uh, acidity right. than mine. So right. blueberries might be a real problem unless you start looking into potash. Right. Well, and then ha milking a cow always oh. smokes. Oh. That was a learning process. We had a milking cow in Ohio. A mini one. A mini one. So we started um, out small. We started small, which is perfect. You start with goats, then you move up to a mini cow, and then you move up to a bigger cow. And I found and then out... Then you move up to a dairy. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. No, but, you know, going from a goat to a cow is different, but it's similar. You know, it's got the same kind of process. But then moving from a smaller cow to a larger cow that's used to being surge milked, totally different story. So Okay, I know that some of you guys have heard this story, uh, but it's it's funny. Um we got our cow, Macy, from Aaron over at... He's Barn Geek. Barn Geek, mm -hmm. that's right. His dad's cow. Right. And mm -hmm. and they were very kind and, and sold it to us way too cheap. Mm -hmm. And um, and when we got her, uh, she had been used to being milked with a surge milker. Now, if you don't know what a surge milker is, there's a big vacuum pump, and then there's hoses that go to a big silver canister mm -hmm. with sucker dealies on it. You pop them on. Teen and cups. It, it pulsates and brings the milk out. Right. Well, we had no idea what this was. We just knew we needed to get a surge milker. Right, because she was not going to stand for hand milking. So there was a long 
process that I'm not going to go into of connecting the dots till we end up at this Mennonite guy's farm. And we're like, we need a, we need a vacuum pump for a surge milker. And he's like, okay. And then he's, he's trying to accommodate us. And he's like, yeah, I can get that done. No problem. Um, but then his dad shows up and he's like looking around, just interested in what's going on. And we're talking and they're completely floored with us. Yeah. They're like, so you make money by making movies mm -hmm. and people watch them on, on the, computer. the computer. Yes. And, and he just kept shaking his head and smiling and well and my favorite question is you know oh, he's looking it. he's looking at the surge milker making sure that we the, have the everything father. we need the father and he says okay well how many cows are you milking with this machine one he belly laughed, laughed right in our face both of them and some of the kids laughed <laughs> out loud like, why do you he need said, a surge milker he said well why don't you just milk her by hand I would have loved to have done that. Uh, However, she was used to being. Milked. She was used to being. So and milked. and she's a Jersey cow. Here's another part of the learning curve. We had no idea that Jersey cows are typically ornery. They are ornery and finicky and stubborn, and they like to kick and. And if you don't do it the way that she's always done it, you're going to be in for a roller coaster ride till you get her to where she needs to be. Exactly. So. Another story of us being ignorant and going through the process and learning, um, you know, so in your mind, guys, if they can do it, I can do it. Start out with something small. Maybe it's, you know what? Hey, I'm going to learn how to crochet. You know why? Because I want to make hats. I want to make gifts to give away. Right, right. It's a great, it's a great winter project if you live in the north. Um, because there's not a lot to do outside. You go outside, you do the things that you need to do, and then you come back inside. Oh, she's she doesn't know. ATVs, hunting, ice fishing. And we don't do that. We, we do ATVs, we do. but we don't we're we're not winter hunters. We're new. We're, we're so new. new to this. It's it's still a process. But just I even, feel like we're on that roller coaster going straight up still. We <laughs> Okay, well here's the reality is this. Eight years ago, we were as green as green gets. Mm -hmm. And we still make mistakes. And you know what the thing is, is in, in all honesty, we don't hide those mistakes from you guys. No. There's a lot of channels that want to come off like they're the expert. No. Or if not. it's chickens, the expert. Um, chickenologist. Chicken optimist. Uh, yeah. Chicken optimist. Chicken optimist. Chicken Chickenologist. <laughs> um, no, that's Jane Zero. He yeah. is. He's he the is. rock star of the rock poultry. Star world um but we don't try to hide those things from you why not because we want to um seem goofy i'm already goofy okay it's it's that you know it would be not honest if you just showed only your successes yeah. and i learned just as much from failing as succeeding right sometimes way more well how many how many different light bulbs did edison invent one that worked. no 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 how many times did it take him to get the light bulb right? I actually don't. It was remember. a lot. A I don't lot. remember how many it was either, but it was a lot. So it wasn't, you know, it wasn't one and you're done. It's you got to go through this process of learning a new skill, a new thing, mm -hmm. and figuring it well, out. Well, and Edison's attitude, I think, was the right one in that he didn't view it as a failure. Mm -hmm. He viewed it as I just learned another way this doesn't work. Right, another way not to do this. Yeah, or that it won't work. Right, right. And so. You know, the encouragement, guys, is you can do this. Start with something small. I mean, I know there's, I know that there's farmers and, and uh, folks that have been doing farming their whole life who watch our, our channel, and we're very grateful. And they laugh at us because they're well, like, why did you do it that way? Yeah. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we deserve it. Yeah. You know, uh, and I don't mind. I don't mind an, a kind uh, correction mm -hmm. in the comments, but if somebody's yeah. nasty, we just blow past you. It's gone. Yeah, it's but um, not worth but it. those folks have been doing it forever. You got to keep in mind that's their skill set. Okay, just because they seem like way up here and I'll never get there, well, that's not necessarily true. They had to learn it one step at a time, just like we are. Yeah, you know, and some farmers are really good at this and might not be so good at that, mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that I really love about YouTube. It's like, oh, I will say though, it is a double-edged sword mm -hmm. because there's equally 
a bunch of wrong information oh, on yeah. just about every topic you can yeah. think about. Oh yeah, it's you have to watch a bunch and say, okay, well, where do they all agree? Where do they all agree, and what's going to work best for us? You know, along this same path, you know. But don't just take one person's word for it. Watch thirty videos on chickens or thirty videos on bees or you know whatever. Yeah. Well, I would not. I. I when it comes to bees. Go to a class. Go find your local bee yeah. association. And I'll tell you what, a thing about beekeepers that if you don't know, passionate. they are tenaciously passionate about beekeeping. Yeah. I've never met one guy who's just like, eh, I don't really care. Yeah. No, 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 no. They want to sit and talk about bees. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, there's a guy in town. He's a great guy. And we can't talk about anything else. Yeah. It's bees or nothing. Right. It's, it's awesome. And so, you know, Find those people that are passionate about the things that you're wanting to learn. Maybe it's, hey, I want to learn how to make um, sausage. Mm -hmm. Find some hunters that have been doing it forever. Watch a bunch of YouTube videos. Right, right. You know, um, and, and learn a skill. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really the whole push of this video is if you can do it, if Brad and Krista can do it, I, I surely can. can do it, right? Yeah. I mean, you make, <coughs> we make candles, we make cheese, we make all this stuff, soap. You know, and, and all of that stuff seemed impossible eight years ago. Oh, my. I can tell you this. Ten, nine, ten years ago, I would have never huh. processed a chicken. Oh, never, why would you ever. do that? No, our attitude would be like, why would you do that? There that doesn't make any sense. You just store. go get it to the store. Right. No, I, and I was so young, you know... <laughs> Granted, only you know mid thirties, but still. We're no spring chickens now. <laughs> I was I was so young mentally, you know that I would have never. I'm like, I'm Why would not you do touching that? that. I'm not doing that. That's disgusting. I'm never gonna do that. It washes off, folks. <laughs> yeah, and and you know here's the thing, I will say, and I I think you'll agree, that our lives are vastly richer mm -hmm. now. For having built up these skill sets, skill yeah. sets, skill sets, constantly learning, constantly trying to hone what you're doing to, to be better. Yeah. You know, and so once again, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. But um, the encouragement is if we can do it, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Don't look at the barriers as impassable. Mm -hmm. There's always a way around it. There's oh, yeah. always a workaround. Oh, yeah. Definitely. So... Look at me. There's lean in. Around. No, lean in. Lean in. Not you, kiddo. Caleb's right there. <laughs> Caleb's leaning in. <laughs> no, no, no. You're watching. Le lean in. If we can do it, you can too. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have a blessed and amazing day.